Hey guys, it's Kylie and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you how to defeat the villains and sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom. So Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom is a card game that you can play in uh, Magic Kingdom, obviously, and you work to defeat different villains and gather the crystal of the Magic Kingdom um, for Merlin. You're kind of Merlin's uh, like apprentice um, in defeating the different villains throughout the different lands, um, and you use different cards. Up, you go up to different like windows and displays and use different cards to defeat them. I do have other videos that explain the details on it that I'll have linked up in the iCard for you to check out. Um, if you want to know more of the basic details and the different card types. Um, but today I'm going to specifically be talking about the different villains that you have to defeat and ways to defeat them and which cards to use to defeat them. If you guys enjoy Disney content and Disney um, videos, definitely hit the subscribe button and turn the bell as I post tons of Disney content on this channel. And it is Vlogmas, so I am posting daily um, in December or... So I am posting daily in December or at least for up to Christmas. Um, so if you guys want to check out, check that out, um, I'd be happy if you joined our Disney family. So let's get started explaining the different villains. I have a list right here. It's like right next to me um, that just kind of goes on if I look at it. That's what I'm looking at. Um, so first of all, there's different levels. There's easy, which is what you automatically start on. Hard, medium, and then hard. And I believe hard's the highest level. Um, so doing that, you automatically start on easy. That one, it doesn't matter. To defeat the villains, any card will work. Um, their weaknesses and stuff, any card will defeat them. Um, medium and hard is when it matters more on what card you're using um, because certain villains have certain strengths and certain weaknesses. The key is medium. It might take an extra try if you don't use that card. Hard, a lot of them do just take true tries to defeat even if you're using the right cards. The other key thing is the screen reads more than one card, so you might want to play more than one card just so you have um, ones that are, are defeating them. So you want to use the ones that are their weakness and to go against um, to try to defeat them um, and not the ones that they're, you don't want to use their strengths in that set as it will read both cards and the strengths will help them but the weaknesses will hurt them. So I'm going to go through each land um, and explain the villain that's in the land and their little sidekicks that you have to defeat too and what their strengths and weaknesses are. So to start off, you, um, we're going to start like kind of from the front of the park you, on Main Street. There's one villain on Main Street and that's Corella DeVille. And to defeat her, her first you have to defeat Jasper. Um, and to defeat Jasper, his weakness is a charming attack. So you want to use a charming attack. Um, and then his strength is a quick attack. So that's what you want to avoid. And then for Corella DeVille, when you're actually competing against her, her weakness is a gross attack. And her strength is a wishful attack. Um, so you want to use the gross attack, but you want to avoid the wishful attack. And most of these you can find online. I just kind of found um, it online a while ago and have a document um, handy that I've made. But if you um, just want to Google like villain sources in the Magic Kingdom villains, it will explain the villains and their strengths and weaknesses in a nice little chart. So the next thing we're going to go to is Adventureland. And there's a couple villains in here you have to defeat. You have Jafar, Scar, and y Yzma. Um, so you end up in Adventureland three different times. Um, so the first one to defeat Jafar, you have to defeat Iago and Jafar's snake first. Um, so defeat, to defeat Iago, you want to use a strong attack and you want to avoid a flying attack. Um, to defeat Jafar's snake, um, you want to use an energy and avoid a quick. So quick is his strength and energy is his weakness. And then to defeat Jafar, you want to use a charming and you want to avoid a wishful because wishful is his strength. And then when you go to defeat Scar, you actually defeat Scar in a, a little bit weird way. First you defeat um, Banzai, um, his little like nemesis friend. And then um, that you want to use a flying attack and you want to avoid a gross attack. And then you actually defeat Scar next. Um, and you want to use a strong attack and avoid a charming attack. And then you actually have to defeat Scar again. But the second time you have to defeat him, it's like the cloud version of Scar. Um, and that's like the end villain for this one. Not ver where Usually the villain is the end villain. Um, this one, Scar, actually goes and then it's Cloud version of Scar. And to defeat the Cloud version of Scar, his strength, uh, his weakness is a quick attack and his strength is a flying attack. And then the last one in Adventureland is Yzma. And the first one you have the Alpaca. And to defeat the Alpaca, you have a charming attack and you want to avoid a gross attack. And then to defeat Kronk, her little sidekick guy, um, you want to use a quick attack and avoid a strong attack as that is his strength. And then to defeat Yzma herself, you want to use a gross attack and you want to avoid a charming attack. 
So now moving on to Fantasyland. In Fantasyland, there's two different villains to defeat. You have Ursula and Maleficent. And Ursula, you have to first defeat Flotsam and Jetsam. And theirs is a charming and a quick attack. Um, so charming is their weakness and quick is their strength. And then you have to defeat Glut. I don't actually know who Glut is, but you have to defeat them. I've obviously played the game, so I have defeated them. I just don't always match the characters up with their names. Um, and to defeat Glut, you have to use a flying attack and you want to avoid a gross attack. And then for Ursula herself, you her weakness is an energy attack and her strength is a charming attack. And then you go on to Maleficent, and Maleficent is similar to Scar. Um, so first you have to t defeat the Goon Guard, and he you want to use a quick attack on him and avoid a gross attack. Then you defeat Maleficent as Maleficent the like person, um, and you want to use a strong attack and avoid a wishful attack. And then you have to defeat her as a dragon. Um, and that one you want to use an energy attack because that's her weakness, and then avoid a flying attack which is her strength. And then finally you go to frontier land, and I mean you're not going to do these all in this order, I'm just going through the land orders that I have them written down in. And in frontier land, you fr one of them you have to defeat is Governor Ratcliffe, and the drumming playing soldier is one of the people that you have to defeat for him, and that's an energy attack as his uh, weakness and a gross attack as his strength. And then you go to Governor Ratcliffe, so this one's a little bit shorter. It's kind of like the Corella de Vil one at the beginning where you don't have as many people to defeat. And you want to use a flying attack to defeat him and avoid a wishful attack. And the other one in Frontierland is Dr. Facilier. And him you want to use, for Lawrence, you want to use a quick attack and then a wishful attack as his is his strength, so you want to avoid a wishful attack. Um, and then you have the shadow demons, and for that you want to use a wishful attack, but avoid an energy attack. And then for Dr. Facilier, you want to use a gross attack and avoid a charming attack. And then the final one you have to do complete, once you do all of those, is Hades, you have to fight him, and he sends Chernabog on you, and makes you defeat Chern Chernabog. And so for Chernabog, his weakness is a wishful attack, and his strength is a strong attack. So, I know I've been talking a lot about the different attacks, um, I'll give you a few tips. Um, you want to build up your cards, like, power, um, earlier in the round. So, on easy, using the cards, you don't want to overuse them, but you want to use them to build up their power, so that they'll be more effective when you get to the harder levels. And I did want to just point out quickly what I mean when I'm saying all these attacks. They're on the bottom of the card. So, this one is a quick attack. Um, we have a strong attack. Um, and using these, you'll be able to tell on the screen which one it's like reading, um, and using these different ones will help show you. So that is a strong attack, um, this one's a charming attack, we have a flying, and then we have an energy. I don't know, I just grabbed a couple cards that were handy, um, but that's some of the different attack types. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any other questions with Sorcerers in the Magic Kingdom, definitely let me know in the comments down below. I'd be happy to answer them. Um, this is, I think, the only other video I'm doing for that, so check out my other videos for Sorcerers in the Magic Kingdom with the different details. But if you have other questions, I'd be happy to turn them into another video. I just thought this explained the different basics. You had the villains, and then you had the cards, and what those all mean together. Um, so yeah, um, I'm now going to send you over to our pin opening for our advent today, and I hope you guys enjoy that, and I'll see you guys later. Hi guys, welcome to our ninth advent opening. Um, today we'll be opening the slot number nine on our calendar. Um, hopefully no doubles this time, as yesterday we did get a double um, of the Haunted Mansion pins. But we're feels like another Tiny Kingdom pin. Uh, nice and small in the little baggie. And hoping for something good on this one. <gasps> We got the Tiny Kingdom pin that I wanted the most. So this is one of the different Tiny Kingdom pins, and it is the Magic Band. Um, so again, the Tiny Kingdoms are smaller than the pin back. Most of them are very close to the size of a pin back. And this one is a very little tiny Magic Band, which is super awesome. It's a blue Magic Band. And this is actually the Tiny Kingdom that I wanted the most. So I'm very excited to add this to my advent calendar. This will be definitely going in my collection when the holiday season is over. Um, but I'm gonna just throw this on our calendar next to our Haunted Mansion pin. So I'm just gonna stick this right here on the calendar. Um, it's a little hard to see because it's so tiny that it's even on there. But it is. This one's definitely one of the, one of the smallest ones. Because out of the three Tiny Kingdom pins that we've already seen in the past nine days total, um, this is definitely the smallest one by far. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and our advent opening. Um, if you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for another Vlogmas video. Bye!